The Amazing Atheist's most recent upload, entitled Nuance is Dead and SJW's Piss on Its Grave, was in many ways one of his best videos. He went into a lot of details about a lot of things and explained a lot of things very well. At the same time, he was also quite hypocritical. Let me explain. He pointed out how nuance is important, that context is important. He used Kanye West as an example, where Kanye at one point talked negatively about someone who refused to stand up during a concert, not knowing that the person was wheelchair-bound. But this didn't stop people from painting Kanye as a horrible person for it. Granted, Kanye isn't someone to put up on a pedestal, but in this case he wasn't actually being nasty. TJ pointed out the story of the old lady who spilled 190-degree coffee on herself and got third-degree burns that almost killed her and she had to get skin grafts. This didn't stop people from using her story constantly as an example of frivolous lawsuits. The Amazing Atheist wanted to point out the nuance and context of the whole thing. And so his video was very good at bringing up how there is nuance and context to most things. Unfortunately, he didn't do the same thing for SJWs nor the Black Lives Matter movement. He gives everyone the benefit of the doubt except for certain groups. He mentioned how his tweets lack nuance and context, and he explained how the reason for that is because, well, it's Twitter, and Twitter has an extreme character limit. What he did not mention is drunken peasants, which the entire thing is based on a complete lack of nuance and a complete lack of context. It's all about making fun of people with no care in the world about what things actually mean, or what they meant. And yes, I get it, Drunken Peasants is supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be pure entertainment. But it's also quite possible to be funny and still give context and nuance to scenarios. Comedians do this all the time. Now granted, I'm not a fan of Drunken Peasants to begin with. I think it's one of the most juvenile, anti-intellectual, lowest common denominator things on YouTube. I've always found it odd how TJ can say such thought-provoking things on one side and get people to laugh while actually learning something, and then turn around and put out puerile garbage like the drunken peasants. To each their own. But it makes money and it's popular, so can I call it pitiful? Well, you know, he's making money, so... But let's go back to SJWs and Black Lives Matter. He doesn't seem to want to know really anything about the concept of social justice itself, just what these crazy SJWs are pushing out. Granted, the way that SJWs act on a lot of these internet platforms and at colleges, they're quite a negative force. But the concept of social justice is not a flawed one. The concept of social justice is one that has driven much of the progress we've made since the 1950s. Do we want to turn back time? Do we want to stop any sort of progress? There is prejudice, there is discrimination, there is an assumption that black people are going to be more violent, there is an assumption that black people are going to have a criminal mindset, and when police don't treat black people in any way the same as other races, there's a problem. Now, granted, I have no room to talk here. For quite a while, I spoke negatively about Black Lives Matter as well, but I eventually got past that to see what the roots of the movement are actually about. I'm hoping that TJ will start to look at the roots of what social justice is about and what the roots of Black Lives Matter is all about as well. If we are to judge those speaking against SJWs and Black Lives Matter the same way we're judging SJWs and Black Lives Matter, we would be having a much longer discussion than we've been. Many people seem to be speaking against any further possible progress we could make when it comes to social issues. Many are basically being a bunch of traditionalists. They're drawing a line saying, No, we don't want to move forward any more than we have. Everything is fine. Everything is perfect. We don't want to see any more change. Leave everything as it is. There is always room for improvement, even if we mostly have what we want. A movie could always be better. A song could always be better. A game could always be better. A government could always be better. We as people could always be better. Individuals could always be better. And as soon as we act like we're perfect the way we are, then we might as well be wearing this shirt.